Hey guys, I've been wanting to complete this project for the longest time. My 2007 Yamaha WR250F came with the worst stock headlight. Being stuck in the trail at night was super dangerous with the old halogen light. Let me show you how I installed this new LED light. It makes the biggest difference. I'll start off by describing how I mounted this light. I first needed to find a sturdy and professional way to mount it so it could take a beating. When looking at options, I noticed the front fender is mounted by four bolts. I decided to use two of these bolts to mount my light. Using a inch and a half wide steel plate, eighth inch thick, I bent it into a U-bracket. I marked and drilled four holes for mounting and test fit into place. I finished the bracket by priming and painting it for protection against the elements. I secured it in place using two lock washers and two nuts. The heart of this project is about converting my bike's AC power output to DC output. LED lights require DC power to run properly. This is accomplished very easily by using two inexpensive electrical components, a full wave bridge rectifier and a capacitor. I took the two wires from the wiring harness and soldered them up to the AC input leads on the rectifier. I then took the LED headlight wires and soldered them up to the positive and negative output leads on the rectifier. As the AC current comes in from the stator, it is converted through the rectifier and goes out to the headlight as DC current. To prevent the light from flashing or flickering, I also installed a small capacitor on the positive and negative DC output terminals of the rectifier. I noted that at idle, my bike was putting out about 10 volts DC. and full RPM, I measured 21 volts DC. So you want to make sure that your LED headlight is rated for this range of voltage or it will end up being fried. The LED light is mounted to the bracket using a bolt, lock washer, and nut. I used washers to space everything evenly on the bracket. I first took a picture with the engine stopped to show how dark it was without the light on. Here's the comparison with the engine running and the LED light on. I attempted to take a video in the dark, but my camera didn't give it justice. The headlight is adjustable up and down if I need to change it in the future. I was completely blown away with how bright this light was. Overall, I feel this is a reliable long-term solution for riding at night. I'm super happy with how the project turned out. This mounting solution is really strong and the light does not move or vibrate at all. I've listed the parts I used in the description below. Let me know what you think about this project. I am currently making a DIY faceplate to cover the existing wiring and possibly mount more LEDs. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on my future projects. See you guys later.